person, and this is Beat the Star. Now, tonight, one fearless Aussie family will battle it out against a superstar of showbiz or sport for this. 50 grand in cold, hard cash. Now, I am determined to give them the money. The family can have it, but only if they've got what it takes to beat the star. Are we ready to find out? Yeah. Let's meet the contenders. We're, We're the moss. We're the sort of family love our sports. Um, Libby does running. I'm Liv. Samuel's got his footy. Mark. And Georgia does gymnastics. I'm Darren. Dad is pretty fit. He could probably walk up the tallest building. Wow, look at that. We can definitely beat the star. We are competitive. And we love to win, don't we, Sam? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to beat the star. Give it up for the Mort family. We've got Dad, Darren, daughters, Georgia and Olivia and young gun Sam. Come and join me, come and join me. Welcome, Mort family. Now, Darren, you've got a very talented bunch here. Are the family up for it tonight? We are pumped. Fantastic. Now, Dad, tell me, what would you do with $50,000? Well, I think a holiday's looking pretty good. Oh, OK, yeah, well, we'll see how we go at the end of the show. But before then, you face an enormous challenge tonight. Because standing between you and a mountain of cash, is a man who really knows how to get things cooking. Hey, it's getting hot in the kitchen. Manu Feldell is on fire, splashing his passion for food and fun across Australian TV screens. <laughs> this gastronomic dynamo has laid down the law on my kitchen rules. You look stressed. Handsome, charismatic, and full of French charm. How do you say it in French? <laughs> Truite au beurre d'amande et filet. I'll just okay. get on with it. Okay. Come on. Will this king of the kitchen triumph over an Aussie family hungry for a slice of 50 grand? If you can't stand the heat, get out of my kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's king of the kitchen and tough talking judge on my kitchen rules. It's super chef Manu Feldau. Now, as an acclaimed chef, you are used to working under pressure. That's right. In a pressure cooker. Do the Mort family look like they could burn you tonight? Maybe. <laughs> oh, a little nonchalant. <laughs> <laughs> May I say that Manu has not only a long and illustrious career, he's also trained in the circus. Plus, of course, he's a chef, so he's fiery. Mort family, do you think you can beat the star? Yes. Sure, yes. we are. Yes. We're ready. <laughs> Confidence. Very confident. Yes, Manu, of course, this evening you have to uh, attempt every challenge that we throw at you. But Mort family, you get to choose which member you think is best suited to take on Manu each time. The catch is you each have to face him at least once, so it has to be a family effort. Each game tonight is worth an increasing amount of points. Game one is worth one point. Game two is worth two points. Game three is worth three points, and so on, right up to the last game, which could be worth a massive eight championship points. So even if you lose a few games in a row, you still have the chance to catch up. Of course, whoever has the most points at the end of the night wins. Now, if that is you, Manu, my friend, you get to go back to the kitchen as the head chef. But of course, if the Mort family can beat the star, they will take home this briefcase brimming with cash. What do you reckon about that? We're going to get off to a flying start tonight with a challenge so big the studio cannot hold it. So, guys, we're going to leave the cash right here. Manu, Mort family, follow me. We're going to go outside. Now, I really hope that none of you suffer from motion sickness. Welcome to game number one. Now, check this out. These are two humongous swings. Now, using nothing but your own momentum, you have to heave yourself skywards until you swing all the way around. The first person to do a full 360 degree revolution wins round one. Now, I've got to warn you, this challenge is incredibly hard. Now, Darren, the family has put you forward for this one. Are, are you incredibly brave? Is that why they've put you forward? Ah, uh, yeah, part brave, part stupid. The fearless leader. Show them how it's done. OK. Manu, how are you feeling about this challenge? 
I think I'm gonna look like a, a roast chicken on a spit roast. Uh, as well, long as you can base me every now and then. So I'll just run up and, and give you a little bit. You get the sauce ready, I'll do Cheers. it. Are you a little bit scared? A little. A little bit. I like seeing that. Yeah. Family, you'll be with me cheering Dad on as he and Manu face the might of the accelerator. <laughs> Manu, Darren, are you ready? I'm ready. Any final words before you go into battle? Can I go to the toilet? No, you cannot. Not in that harness. Too late uh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, for the first point of the match, on my mark, three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your accelerators. <laughs> oh, Dad's got a good start. Plenty of crowd support. Again, you got a great start. Just got over. Well done. Yeah, great. Darren, how was that? Um, great. <laughs> <laughs> you only just, you teetered at the top for a little while, didn't you? Oh, absolutely. Manu, how was that? Uh, I'm a bit upset with myself. I really wanted to go all around. But uh, I want one in my bedroom. I tell you, that was just the appetizer in tonight's multi-game menu. And next, we're going to serve up a small green delicacy that could send our players bananas. And it's next on Beat the Star. Yeah, things are really cooking tonight as the mighty Mort family turn up the heat on Super Chef Manu Feldel. Welcome back to Beat the Star. And it's time now to push the boundaries of anything ever attempted on TV. Game two is a test of precision, skill, and taking a ridiculous concept really, really seriously. Now the family has nominated Sam to challenge Manu in this next game. How are you feeling, Sam? Good. Is that because he's got good hand-eye coordination? Absolutely, Daniel. Good, good, good. Well, Sam, this one's up to you. So, family, I'm going to ask you to take a seat back over at the interchange bench where you can cheer him on. Go, Sam. Manu and Sam, all you have to do for this, come with me, is drop a freshly shelled, snap-frozen pea into an empty bottle at your feet. No matter your aerodynamically tested peas are red, Sam, yours are going to be blue. You both get five cracks at it. Of course, the best of five wins. No matter this is a, it's a, well, it's kind of a food challenge of sorts. So be your forte? Um, I usually uh, put peas in a pan, not in a bottle, but it's, uh, I'll try. It's I'll just try like mate. that, but smaller. <laughs> Easy. Uh, uh, Sam. Mate, can you take him on? Definitely. Yeah, can you beat the star? Yes. Yes, them's fighting words. How about a round of applause for Sam? <laughs> well, I bet you never thought you'd be doing peas on national TV, but that is exactly what is required for pee in a bottle. <laughs> OK, Manu, you will start. Wee wee. Fantastic. Uh, when you are ready, please go and aim your first pee. A few little warm-up, warm-up exercises there. It was five peas each. That is chalk for grip. Now special red peas. Manu Fidel. Oh, and off the lip. None from one. Sam, your first attempt. Go and give it everything, mate. Nine-year-old Sam Mort taking on Super Chef Manu Feldel. Take your time, mate. Ooh. Come on. Four attempts to go. Manu, your second attempt to work, mate. Best of five, plenty of chances. I don't know if that's crowd support. French showman coming out. Second attempt, Manu. Oh, none from two off the lip. Second attempt, mate. Off you go. 
Now, Sam, take your time. Take your time. Sam one, Manu none so far. Ooh, each time has been so close. The third one just off the lip. Sam, can you go and extend your lead, mate? Good luck. won this challenge. Quiet, please. No, he did very well. He, he did, did indeed. Well. well, after round two, let's check those scores. And, of course, that game was worth two points, which means the Morts go ahead three points to nil, but, of course, three valuable points on offer in our next game. Hey, Mort family, how good was Sam? Have a seat, mate. Look at this little quiet achiever. He's just all relaxed about it. Yeah, I just beat a chef at a food game. I got this down. <laughs> Feeling pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, how was the cheering, guys? Fantastic. Great. A bit nerve-wracking from over here? Absolutely, mm. but we were there for him. Yeah, well, you did very, very well. Now, of course, after some food, everyone needs a drink. Who needs a drink? Me, yeah, definitely. You're lying, but I love that you're so passionate about it. Liv, come with me. You're going to love game three. A bit of round of applause for Liv. Now, this is worth three points, so it's an opportunity to extend your lead, or for Manu, it is a chance to even the score. Now, Manny, you're used to going to the farmer's markets and sourcing fresh produce, aren't you? Yeah, quite often, that's right. Yeah. Good. Well, trust me, it doesn't get much fresher than this. I would like you all to meet Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> Say hello to Jenny the goat. Uh, this hello, Jen, it's OK, you're on telly. So first, you're each going to have a little tin bucket. You're going to have a stool. And you're each going to have a teat. And first, you have to put Jenny at ease. Hey, Jen, give her a little pat. Get friendly with the goat. Then slowly put the bucket down. Just slowly slide your hand down there and grab a teat and just draw it down, like so. And if you're any good at it, you'll get a little bit of milk, like that. Uh, the person who can get the most out wins this challenge, just like that. How do you think you'll go? Good, hopefully. Manu, confident? Yeah, I'm pretty confident in this one, actually. Well, I hope so, because it is time to play the squeeze. <laughs> now, for three championship points, hands on teats. In three, two, one, milk that goat. <laughs> and we're off. Well, Manu's got a good technique. <laughs> hey, Jenny's producing well. Give me a look over there. <laughs> Good, good, good. They're doing well. Manu, how's it going, mate? Good, thanks. Good, good. How's the, how's the muscles in the arm? They're doing all right? It's good. I've just changed hands already. You've already changed hands. I notice you're getting most of it in the bucket. You've spilled a bit. Jenny's looking relaxed. Milk it all the way. 15 seconds, guys. Three championship points on offer. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, it's going to be close. That's it. Hands off, Teats. Well done, guys. Three championship points right on the contents of their buckets. And after the break, we're going to reveal who has taken them out. Will Liv taste sweet success? Will Manu get his just desserts? The answer is next on Beat the Star. Uh, Manu, I think we're going to measure yours first. How did you enjoy that? Um, it's pretty tough, actually. You've got to have a lot of muscles in your arms. Uh, you've spilled a little bit, but hopefully it doesn't make the difference. OK. Here we go, very carefully in here. I'm just going to get that handle out of the way. OK, that's 50 mils. 
It's 150 mils. What do you think, team? Hey, not bad. Okay, Manu, your total is about 350 mils. Well done, Manu. Liv, did you and Jenny bond? Definitely. Yes. Definitely? Can you beat Manu's 350 millilitres of milk? Yeah. Hopefully. All right, let's give it a crack. It's a solid looking bucket. You haven't spilt any, which could make all the difference. Very, very close race here. Of course, plenty of championship points at stake. Here we go. Okay, that's 50 mils. That's 100. That's 150 mils. That's 200 mils. Oh, Liv, you're starting to run out. Oh, it seems like Manu has scored the points. Well done. Thank you. Of course, adding those three championship points to the scoreboard. Let's see what that's done. It is three apiece. Okay, it's time now to send our players packing on a trip around the globe. Now, Manu, tonight you are our international man of mystery. You'd be pretty worldly. You travelled plenty. Um, At no, least to I've, France. I've crossed the world, but I didn't stop anywhere on the way. You went from France straight to here? Yeah, I didn't look out uh, the window either. <laughs> uh, Georgia, have you travelled very much? Yeah, I've travelled a bit. Yeah. I hope your knowledge of planet Earth is up to scratch because the family has put you up to take on Manu in the game we like to call Where in the World? <laughs> Where in the World is a simple game of geography. Manu and Georgia will be shown a map of the globe. When sections of the map turn green, they must buzz in and correctly name the country. They'll get five seconds to answer. If they get it wrong, their opponent gets a shot. The first person to give five correct answers wins. For four championship points, heads down and tell me where in the world is this? Manu. Argentina. Is that Argentina? Let's take a look. That is incorrect. South Africa? Is it South Africa? Let's take a look. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well done. The Mort family off the mark on one point. Where in the world is this? Lightning. Antarctica. Is that Antarctica? Let's take a look. Well done. Two points. First of five correct answers. You're on two correct answers so far. Well done. Where in the world is this? <laughs> Lightning reflexes from Manu. Um, <laughs> Australia. Oh, come on. No, 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 time's up. Oh. Time's up. I can't give it to you, sadly. It was outside the time. Australia. Yes, I think it is. Let's take a look. <laughs> Do you know how many people are going to take the mickey out of me? <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You've got time to come back. Three correct answers so far for the Mort family. Uh, none for you. Tell me, where in the world is this? Manu? Central America. I can't give that to you. I really want to, but I can't. Georgia. USA, United States. Is okay. that the USA? Let's take a look. Yeah. Boom! We'll take it. One correct answer, and you will take this round and the championship points that go with it. Where in the world is this? France! <laughs> France. Oh. Manu, is it France? Let's take a look. He's off the mark, ladies and gentlemen. One correct answer to four. Remember, Georgia, one correct answer will see you take the round. Manu, another four correct answers will see you mount one heck of a comeback. Oh, my God. Where in the world is this? Oh! 
Ooh, who got that? Georgia. Oh, um, Russia. Is it Russia? Let's take a look. Yeah! Yes, you're correct. That is five correct answers. You have won the game. Well done to you and the Moore family. Ah, uh, great stuff. Now, four points added to your score, which means you lead Manu seven to three. But it's still anyone's race as we head into something a little bit more physical. Well, the game points keep increasing and so does the danger. Now, Dad, you've been put up to face our next challenge, which is an absolute doozy. Come with me. It is loud, it is perilous, but mostly we play it because it involves this. Well, which then allows me to do this. <laughs> That's right. In game five, Manu and Darren will take turns launching balls from this high-powered, slightly Looney Tunes looking but really fun to use cannon. The other player will be standing nervously in front of the goal trying to stop them. Whoever gets the most balls past their opponent and into the back of the net in five shots wins. Darren, what do you reckon? I'm scared. So you should be. <laughs> Manu, does a game involving a big cannon appeal to your Napoleonic heritage? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think it's, it's a little bit more me. Yes. Um, you know, the physical, and uh, I can't wait to shoot at you, really. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope you're ready for battle, boys, because you'll both be in the firing line. <laughs> OK, Manny, you are up first with Darren defending. Now, remember, you get five shots, and then you guys will swap. So please load her up. And, Manu, remember, please do not fire until I give you the all clear. Nice and steady, easy does it. Remember, you're aiming for the net, not for Darren's head. Gun is loaded. Manu, fire at will. Oh! <laughs> one from one. Remember, five attempts each. Manu, fire at will. Darren, well done. Third attempt, Manu, fire at will. Ooh. Two out of three, well done. You enjoying that, Manu? Very much so. Good to hear. <laughs> Probably more than Darren right about now. Fire at will. Ooh, three from four, doing very, very well. Okay. Your final attempt. Manu, are you ready? Yep. Darren, are you ready? Yep. Fire at will. <laughs> oh! How is that for a save? Darren Mort, well done. You all right, mate? You caught yeah, me in fine. the face? I'm fine. Well, three out of five for Manu. Well done. Let's just take a look at that final save from Darren again. A rather unorthodox saving style, clocking him right in the head. But, hey, it got the job done. <laughs> now, Darren, you need four goals from five shots oh, yeah. to beat the star. Okay. This time for you to exact some revenge. All right. In your own time, fire at will. Good enough to save it. Great attempt. One from one for Darren. Remember, four out of five to win this challenge. OK, gun is clear. Fire at will. Yeah. Oh, oh, well done! Manu using some goalkeeping techniques over there, crabbing from side to side, leaving one side of the goal a bit more open. Didn't fool you. Two from two so far, Darren. This is your third attempt. Fire at will. Oh, three from three. A perfect record so far. Now you're currently tied with Manu. If this one goes in, you'll be another step closer to $50,000. Your fourth shot. The gun is loaded and clear. 
Fire at will. Darren, this is your fifth and final shot. You put this one in, you take this round, you take the championship points, the gun is loaded. This is your final shot. Fire at will. Winning goal again, a perfect shot from Darren. Great dive from Manu, but didn't quite get there. And the jump for Joy at the end. What a great job making the score. 12 points for the Mort family and three for Manu. From rocket-powered soccer balls to slicing salami, no baloney. Things are about to get even weird around here when we return to beat the star. The knives are going to come out, and so are the beat the star salamis. Now, Liv, how good are you in the kitchen? Hopefully good. Do you do but much cooking around the house? Yeah, I love to spend time in the kitchen with Mum. Mm. So. Oh, you're going to nail this one. Does this game look like manna from heaven for you or just slightly aged processed meat? Uh, let, let's put it this way. If I don't win this one, I'm going home. <laughs> no, no, no. We've got plenty more challenges for you. But uh, your reputation... Is on the, on the, on the chopping board. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Uh, Manu and Liv, it is time to play The Chop. <laughs> now, in The Chop, I'm going to call out a precise weight. For example, 200 grams. You both have to guess exactly what you think is that amount of salami and then slice it off. Your cuts will then be weighed and whoever's portion is closest to that nominated amount wins that round. The game is played as a best of three challenge. Are we all ready? Yeah. Are our players ready? Yes. Good, good, good. Eyes on your salami. Go, Liv. Hands on knives. Liv and Manu, cut me 350 grams of prime salami. No, 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 no fingers. No, 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 no. <laughs> Manu's cut his. And oh, he's put thanks. the tea towel <laughs> over the top. Okay. Okay. Manu, bring me your salami. I did too much. No, 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 no. I'll be doing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> 350 grams. Yep, your, repu about. your reputation is on the, on the line here, but of course you have no idea how much the entire salami weighs. You think you're close? I think I'm pretty close. Okay, let's find out. 350 grams of salami. How close is our super chef, Manu? 258.5, 259 grams. Oh, 259 grams, I'm gonna place that there. Liv, you might be close, bring that over here. Yeah. Now, if that's 259, okay. Mm. Uh, what do we need, to be within 91 grams? Okay. You have to be give or take. Uh, confident? Let's hope. We're gonna find okay. out, aren't we? <laughs> Of course, this is a best of three challenge. Attempt one. We want something close to 350 grams. <laughs> 456. I think Manu has won it by like eight or nine grams. Well done. Attempt number one, first attempt to Manu. All right, let's go the other way. Players, I would like 120 grams of prime delicatessen grade salami. <laughs> Manu being very secretive of his cut. Okay. Uh, these may well be very similar, similar cuts of salami. You may well have both got your eye in. Manu, bring me your cut of salami, please. Place it in my hot little hand. 120 grams. That was your 250, so this could be pretty close. 
You're giving this a lot of thought, aren't you? Yes. You're taking this one very seriously? Yes, okay. very seriously. Good man, I like that. Plenty of championship points at stake. 120 grams of salami, how close did you go? 140 grams, pretty good, pretty good. 20 grams too much, but that's very competitive. Liv, wow. Slanted. Yeah, you've really cut that on an angle. Uh, it's a wedge of salami, but I'm sure it is a very well calculated wedge of salami. Uh, you need to be within 20 grams of 120. Let's see how you went. How are you feeling about this one? A bit nervous. A bit nervous about this one? Let's check it out. 121.5, well done! That's a great effort. Okay, this is the deciding salami challenge. Okay, Manu, your pride is on the line here. Liv showing that she's pretty, pretty handy around the kitchen. The final challenge, the deciding chop in this game. I would like 53 grams of salami meat. Come on, baby. Yeah, you chop first. <laughs> That's what she's been doing all along, Grey. Okay. <laughs> now, the winner of this attempt will take out this round. No one wants to go first. The pressure's on. Come on, baby. <laughs> A little kiss for good luck. Uh, Manu, may I have your cut first, please? Okay. A culinary challenge with one of the best chefs in this country. 53 grams is what we're after. Yes, chef. Can you just put it on? <laughs> Please. <laughs> 51 grams. Well done. Two grams off there, off the target. OK, Liv, pressure is on you. Remember, the winner of this takes the challenge. Our final cut in the chop. What have we got? Just look very similar, <laughs> don't they? Appliances. Well done. How was the precision in that? Not happy. You're not happy? <laughs> You're gonna give her a job? Yes. Yeah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> the Moore family now on 18, Manu on just three, but there is still enough championship points for Manu to come back and win this competition. Now, Paris has the Eiffel Tower, Sydney has the Center Point Tower, but they are nothing compared to the dizzying heights that our players will face next. Will they enjoy the view from up there? Nah. I don't know, we're gonna find out next on Beat the Star! Special <laughs> seven championship points ride on our next terrifying game. And the family has nominated you, Georgia, to bring them home. Mm. Why did the family nominate you for this one, do you think? Um, probably because of the beam, gymnastics. Alright, pretty good. And are you good Maybe. under pressure? Yeah, good. probably good. about, yeah. Uh, I know you're good at gymnastics, but Manu, you train with the circus. I mean, was it trapeze, tightrope? No, unfortunately, nothing like this. Just what? clowning was uh, my forty, and uh, unicycle, and juggling, and... Great. Yeah. OK. Um, well, if you got me to walk across here juggling on a unicycle, this would be your forte. That's right. Alas, not. You could both be in trouble as we ask you to walk the panic plank. <laughs> Now, Manu and Georgia, this challenge simply asks you to walk in a straight line across this very thin beam and hit the buzzer up there at the end. The first person to do so wins. But there is one small little catch. Uh, you'll be quite high up there when you attempt it. So, boys, raise them up.
Now that is more like it. Oh, gee. How are you feeling now, Georgia? Oh, my God. <laughs> now, Georgia, if you win this challenge, $50,000 belongs to you and the family. Darren, are you confident that Georgia can bring this one home? I'm there for it, Daniel. There to catch it just in case? <laughs> I'll catch it. Fantastic. Manu, you look very focused up there. <laughs> <laughs> very, very focused. Now, remember, you must win this challenge to stay in the game and take it to a final, final challenge here at Beat the Star. Steal your nerves. Get focused. And in three, two, one, walk the panic plank. quick and started to stumble. Guys, well done. Come down here and have a chat. How about a round of applause for Georgia and Manu. Oh, he's back in the game. Here you go, mate. High fives. Well done. How was that? <laughs> what, scared? Georgia, come on over. Now, you nearly lost it there. You, yeah, you, I you know. stumbled. I know. I, uh, I don't know what else. Were you keeping an eye on him out of the corner of your eye? Yeah, a little bit. And then I saw him run past. He, he, <laughs> he scrambled past. Oh. What did that take, mate? Because you were nervous you up there. What? I tell you what, that's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I, I was there. I couldn't even talk to you. I was. I don't want to be impolite because the words wants to come out of my mouth. But suddenly I just went, I'm going to do it. And I did it. And he did. He's won it. Well done, Manu. <laughs> Hey, hey, Darren and Maud from you must be very proud. So close there. It's put Manu on 10 points, the Mort family on 18. This is it. We're going to go to one more challenge after the break. We're going to find out if the Mort family can turn this into this. That's right. Our $50,000 question will be answered by a common kitchen... Now, Darren, Manu, our final challenge requires daring anticipation, and most importantly, an electrical cooking device. It's time to raise our heat-emitting hero, bring up the Beat the Star bread browner. <laughs> now, Darren, Manu, it's time for you to psych yourselves up while I explain the rules. Now, in this battle of wits, you need to predict exactly when two slices of bread have turned golden brown and are ready to pop. When you think the toast is just seconds from popping, hit your buzzer. If the toast ejects within 10 seconds of your buzz, you win. If it doesn't eject, your opponent automatically wins the round. Bring it on. It is $50,000 at stake for the Mort family versus Manu's legendary chef's pride. Lights down. Eyes on the toaster, hands on your buzzers. Ladies and gentlemen, let the bread browning begin. And a deathly silence falls across the Beat the Star studio floor. Plenty at stake here in our final challenge. Of course, if Manu does win this challenge, we may well go to a deciding tiebreaker here this evening. Eyes on the toaster. I can see the heat haze rising from above the toaster. I can smell the toast. The bread is browning. Remember 10 seconds from the time that you buzz in. If it pops within that 10 seconds, Darren, you go home with $50,000. Manu, his focus has not wavered. My dad. Licking his lips with anticipation. Manu has buzzed in. We have 10 seconds. Six, five, eight, seven, six, six. Will it pop? Five seconds to go. 
five, four. Yet another gutsy family and a brand new star will battle it out.